those of you familiar with the channel might have seen one of these boxes before with a little uh, cup holder mark on them, as I like to call it. Simple black box with a spot to put a lock on it. No label on the outside. This is the Grand Power. I love these guns. Um, before I get too far into it, this is the K100 9mm. And uh, we do have our manual here with some color in it. You also get a rod for cleaning. Uh, looks like replacement sights and uh, on wrench, of course. Three spare back straps with one on the gun. It makes for four back straps. This is one of the most customizable lines of guns I've seen out there as far as fitting your, your hand. We have some great videos out there showing you how these different back straps can change the way the gun fits your hand so it becomes perfectly for the right trigger reach. And we get two magazines. Get the case out of the way and we'll go over this beauty. The K100 Mark 12 from Grand Power. Alright, as always, first things first. Show clear. See that action there? That's that rotating barrel that makes these such a dream to shoot. They are so smooth. Notice the barrel's not tilting. You got less shifting weight and a lower bore axis, uh, which makes the recoil impulse, at least as it's felt to us, uh, smoother and softer. And because it just rotates, see how it doesn't get hung up at all? I mean, I'm just. I just bump it and it goes right back into battery. So you don't have that clunk at the end that uh, can throw off your, uh, you know, it gives you a little bit of shift on your muzzle. Uh, let's take a look around the gun. Starting up front, you got a wee bit of a target crown there. This is a used gun. Slide to frame fit very snug. A little bit of rounding there to make it easy to reholster quickly. I'd say this is a duty sized gun. Front cocking serrations, spot for a rail. Serrations on the front of the trigger guard as well as the front strap. It's a polymer trigger, ambidextrous controls. Here's your sights, a rather narrow by some standards. That makes for more precise shooting. You gotta take your time a little more, but more precise. This has a safety, so you can carry it cocked and locked. Or you can gently decock and go to double action. What I like about double action, single action, is it gives you the chance to squeeze again if the first round doesn't go off. That isn't a habit you wanna get into, but uh, on first shot, the faster the remedial action is just pulling the trigger again. But uh, we have the nice sweep there, beaver tail, you see how you can get your hand high up in there comfortably. Thumb rests naturally in this flat spot here with a slight rise to it to shield you from bumping the magazine release. And I'll show you another reason why I love these guns. We'll gut it. Not entirely, of course, just a field strip. So these come apart a little bit different than uh, most of the guns you're used to. You do have these takedown levers that have to be pulled down. Then you pull the slide back and up and back forward. Here's the barrel and that awesome cam surface there. Very nicely machined. No tool marks. A little bit of frosting there. Sorry, it's about 20 degrees outside and uh, the gun's cold. We walk down to the gun store to pick this up uh, because the streets are iced over. Looking in the slide, you can see any unnecessary metal is removed. And please comment if you can find a tooling mark because I sure don't see any. It's got the safety plunger, but unlike a lot of other makers, you notice there's a bit of a ramp there. It's part of what makes the triggers so smooth on these. 
very nicely made slide. And another thing that keeps it so darn accurate and the trigger so smooth is the steel chassis that sits down in the frame. So we've got a nicely polished ramp there. Barrel support has been a question of late. That's a fully supported chamber right there. The only thing sticking out of it is what the extractor needs to grab onto the round. These are awesome guns, folks. If you ever get the chance to, to try one, beg, bribe, whatever you have to do. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of them in the country, so if you see one, snatch one up, but they are just amazing. Um, I hate to sound like I have somewhat of a bias, because I generally try to be unbiased and fair on these, but uh, I have yet to handle anything from Grand Power that disappointed me. So I'm looking forward to shooting this. We'll get it out on the range and uh, enjoy it, give you some footage of it. Let me know if you've tried one yet or haven't. If you're curious about the different backstraps and how they change your grip, we have a video on that in our playlist. Uh, look for the other Grand Power reviews. Thanks for watching GB Guns. And if you watch this far, you appreciate our format and what we're doing, or maybe you're waiting to make that really angry comment. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe. The link over here to show you a related video based on what you just watched. Or down here is the playlist relevant to this video. Once again, we appreciate your feedback, your comments. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.